You're looking at a live view of the Falcon Heavy on historic launch pad 39A at Kennedy Space Center, awaiting liftoff at 6.35 p.m. local time. Welcome to our live webcast of the Falcon Heavy Arabsat 6A mission from SpaceX headquarters in Hawthorne, California. It is the world's most powerful operational rocket by a factor of two, with 28 engines, three boosters, three separation events, and three landing attempts. There's going to be a lot of activity happening all at once. The payload tonight is a geostationary communications satellite, which will provide state-of-the-art communication services to customers in the Middle East and Africa. Each one of these cores has nine Merlin 1D engines, making for a total of 27 engines overall, as you can see on your screen. Now altogether, these engines produce over 5 million pounds of thrust, equal to 18 747s at takeoff. In fact, the engines produce so much power that we don't run them at full thrust all at once until after liftoff. For the mission today, each one of these three Falcon 9 boosters is brand new. It's also going to be the first time we are flying Falcon Heavy with our upgraded Block 5 cores, which feature more lift capacity, a beefed up heat shield, and other changes to make the boosters more reliable and easier to reuse. Come on, 15 seconds. Vehicle flight pressures. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one. Zero. Ignition. Lift off. Ignition. Lift off. into flight under the power of 5.1 million pounds of thrust falcon heavy is headed to space we're throttling down in t plus 40 seconds to prepare for maximum dynamic pressure Performance looks good. We've begun dropping power on the side boosters to decrease loads on the center core. Pico. Please for separation confirmed. Successful separation if you can hear me over the cheering. Side boosters now beginning a flip to begin returning back to Cape Canaveral. Side boosters have begun the boost back burn. The center core has throttled back up to power. Everything looking good on the flight of Falcon Heavy. The next major event, main engine cutoff of the center core and separation ignition of the second stage. Bottom middle view shows the view looking up into the nozzle of the second stage engine. Nico. Main engine cut off, center core shut down.
the center call. Fairing separation confirmed. Here comes the fairing separation, and there it goes. We also have successful shutdown of the side booster boost back burn. So T plus, four minutes, 25 seconds in the flight. Side boosters on their way back to Cape Canaveral. Center court coasting Stage out over the Atlantic. Nominal. Stage two, looking good with a nominal trajectory. As you guys have noticed, the grid fins have deployed on the side boosters as well as the center core. Those work to help guide the boosters back to a nice targeted soft landing. See those heading home right now. As a reminder, today we'll be attempting to recover all three of the first stage cores and all three boosters are currently on their way heading home. In just a few minutes, the side boosters will execute an entry burn, followed by a landing burn, and the center core will do much the same a few minutes later. Both burns are meant to slow the stage's speed down rapidly before landing. At the time of separation, the side boosters were traveling slow enough to turn around and make their way Stage back to land at our side-by-side -side landing pads. The center core, on the other hand, is going too fast to efficiently return to the Cape, so we're using our autonomous drone ship, of course I still love you. If we have a successful landing today, the side boosters will be reflown on our next Falcon Heavy mission, STP-2. Coming up at about T plus six minutes will be the side boosters re-entry burn. So you'll see the side boosters on your left and right screen. Side booster entry burn has started. And there's the re-entry burn beginning. Stage two trajectory nominal. And the re-entry burn is complete for the side boosters. Now coming up in about 30 seconds, the center core, which you see on your center screen, will begin its re-entry burn.
like we landed the center core on our drone ship. We have landed the center core for the first time on our drone ship. Of course, I still love you. For the first time, we've landed all three boosters for Falcon Heavy. What an amazing day. So now we are going to take a quick break. Accelerations below the limit for our Arabsat customer. Everything continues to look good. Then the throttle down, and we have shut down. And back shut down. Right now, we're waiting to hear what the final orbit looks like. Nominal orbit insertion. Guidance engineer over one of the nets announced nominal orbit insertion. Both side boosters landed at the Cape. Center core landed, second stage right in the desired orbit. And now we're waiting for separation. Spacecraft separation confirmed. As you can tell behind me, the folks who watched the mission cheering, Arabsat 6A, headed away into the desired orbit, doing its mission in space. That puts a capper on what's been a completely normal day here at SpaceX. <laughs> 